Emma? Uh, Mark, Sean. Sean, nice to meet you. Meet you. Well, so one more time. You know my friend Mar Marlon? Oh, Marlon. I don't yeah. think so. Hey, how you doing? I'm Sean. Sure, sure. So Zydeco, the Zydeco is a snap bean. It's a French green bean. And it's a uh, haricot is how you would say it in French, H-A-R-I-T-C-O, or maybe two R's, H-A-R-C-O-T-S, Harico. And the plural would be Les Harico, and there's an old saying in Louisiana that's an old saying like, it's, it's Les Haricots en Pasolé, means the snap beans are not salty, it's like an apology, uh, an excuse saying, geez, you know, the woe is me, times are tough, we're so poor, we don't even have a little uh, salt pork to season the, the, the green beans, that's how they would make it salty, is the, you know, put a little bit of that, it's, it's just it's bacon that's real, real salty, it's mostly just fat, <laughs> but they make, they make cracklings out of it too, also, but that's a whole other story, that's too gross for the camera. Cracklings, is that like pork rinds? It's fried fat, yeah, it's yeah. basically. It's, <laughs> that's what she eats when she wakes up in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so, so it got coffee. slurred, <laughs> Les Zadikos en Pasolé, they would say it, and it was a song, Clifton Chenier, it was an old phrase, and Clifton Chenier put the phrase in his, one of his first hits, Les Zadikos en Pasolé, gonna go Zadikos en Pasolé, da 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 Zadikos en Pasolé, da 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 Zadikos en Pasolé, da 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 Les Zadikos en Pasolé, da 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 Go tippy tie that tippy tie those are two people. There's a tippy and there's a tie-o. And they're basically saying, where is tippy tie -o? Where'd they go? The snap beans are not salty. That's the whole song. It's like two phrases. It's the stupidest song. It's like, no. Anyway, it's a big hit. Big smash hit for Clifton Chenier. Started out on the rampage with this new Zydeco music. Where he took, and, and, and then a white, uh, there was a, I forget the fellow's name, he was a music critic, in, I think in Baton Rouge or Lafayette, I think he was in Baton Rouge. And he, it, there have been several spellings of Zydeco that have been going around. Zarico, Zydego, there was four or five different spellings, and he said, this is the spelling. You got it? This is it. Which was kind of weird, because he was the one that decided that it should have been Clifton Chenier, because he was the king of Zydeco. You know, and he invented the scrub board. He invented the idea of taking a... Oh, really? Well, of the modern scrub board where they take yeah. it out of metal yeah. and they put it over, you know, they had, they used to have a regular washboard on a string, put it around the neck and use that. But he, he was working at the oil refinery and he car drew it on the ground and said, hey, one of the sheet metal guys in the shop said, can you make this? And he said, yeah, I can do that. And so he made him one and that was the first uh, side of those are pretty stuff. pretty cool. I love the way they so, sound. Yeah, yeah. I, I got one left time was Lafayette and... Uh, but Zydeco is different from Cajun. What they did is they took the Cajun music was the French music from the K Acadians had their French music in Acadia. When they came down, they started their own music, and it merged with the Creole music and it merged with the uh, other French French music from the French people from New Orleans that were, came from Paris and other parts of France, not through the islands. And that's what was the, the, the French. So that's why. Cajun music sounds different than Acadian music from Nova Scotia, which sounds different yet again from music from Cape Breton, from the north coast of France. The, the, the Acadians see are actually Celtic people. People think of them as French, but their you know, food that. and their language, I mean, other than their language, their food and their culture and the dance is, uh, is French music. I mean, it's, uh, it's Celtic music. And, yeah, her, it's, her mom and uh, her stepdad bought some property up near uh, Acadia really? National Park. Oh, yeah. She went up to Acadia. Oh, I bet it's pretty up there. Uh, see pictures. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently that's like a geologist's Disneyland. It's yeah. the best rocks. I knew a geologist that went there. Oh, uh, really? Just for vacation, just to go around and look at all the rocks laying around on the ground. But, uh, but, uh, and then, well, then, so to just finish this up for what Zydeco is. And then, so Zydeco, Clifton Chenier started this as a different thing and what he did is he took like a rhythm and blues band with electric bass, electric guitar, big drum set, um, no fiddle, got rid of the fiddle and, and had the scrub board. And so that's one thing you can tell the difference usually with Cajun has the triangle and the Zydeco has the scrub board. Oh, that's interesting. So that's that's how that, that kind of works. And and now the fiddle would be more in Cajun music than, but sometimes they have it in Zydeco. Now it's all sort of mixed getting more mixed back in together. Uh, the younger generation, like the, I don't know if you've heard of the Pine Leaf Boys or the Rescue Grand or some of these newer, younger bands that come here to the Continental every once in a while, they're kind of pulling it all back together before it got split, you know, when, when they called it Lala music, before they invented Zydeco as different than Cajun, you know. And, uh, but Clifton but, but Chenier took it off and revved it up and just took off to the stratosphere, and then that's what Zydeco became, what we think of as Zydeco. Uh, he had a 
piano accordion, but now if you go to the Zydeco festivals like in Houston or any of those, they're all playing Cajun accordion with a button accordion instead of, they're going back to the button accordion instead of the piano accordion like Clifton played the piano accordion, you know, that has all the flats and sharps and you can play the blues and, and like a, you know, chromatic scale, you know, so. Cool.